Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of area formulas. This is standard 6.8b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 9 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got four different models, and if you take a look, the left side of each model is exactly the same, right? We've got this uh, triangle, right? We've got a base, we've got a dotted line for the height, but we're looking to see which of these can be used to justify why the formula for area of a triangle is one-half base times height. We get that from our reference materials, right? So our area of a triangle is one-half base times height. So that's that very first line right there. So let's see how that helps us. All right, so we know that the if I wanted to find this right, I would take uh, one half and multiply the base times the height, and I could find the area of this triangle. But why do I have to do one half? Well, that's what this is asking for, right? So that's interesting. So A looks kind of like the Triforce, if you're a Legend of Zelda fan. They just have the exact same triangle, and they've cut it into each triangle. Like if it's if a triangle like this, not all triangles, but a triangle like this, uh, looks like it's probably, it's either equilateral or it's close to equilateral. It can be cut into four equal triangles that are smaller. But that doesn't really help me. Because... It really doesn't show why we're at this one half. And this is just four small triangles equals one large triangle. Uh, that's all that I really get from A. And that's not, that doesn't help me with the one half base times height. And, okay, so this does look like an equilateral triangle. Okay, so look. You can use this side as the base on B and use this kind of almost looks like a diagonal as height. If you rotate your head a little bit, it does look like the exact same. So this is an equilateral triangle. I can use that as the base. So that just lets me know when I have an equilateral triangle, I can use any of the three sides as a base. But that doesn't help me, right? This is still my one half base times height equals one-half base times height. So it doesn't help me. All right. Uh, so C. What are we doing with C here? Okay, I've got my, you know, if I wanted to find the area of this triangle, find one-half base times height. Look what they did here. So this base is this base, and this height is this height. Okay, so they, they doubled it, right? And they made a new shape. So this is you know, one-half base times height. This is one-half base times height. So if I added half a base times height and half a base times height, right, that's going to equal base times height. Just think of base times height as a unit together, right? If I have half and a half, two halves make a whole. So it's one whole base times height. And we could put the one there, or typically we just multiplying by one doesn't do anything. But look what shape I made. Suddenly I double this, and this looks like a parallelogram. And take a look what we find in our reference materials. Rectangle or parallelogram, area equals base times height. So we're used to a rectangle, right, is being base times height. Right, base times height, that's the area. You could take any rectangle, you can cut it into two triangles. That's why it's one half base times height. Or in this case, we made a parallelogram. It's the same thing, right? Take this base, base, take the height, and you get base times height, even if it's a parallelogram. So if you cut that in half, you're going to get one half base times height for the two triangles you make. So C makes a lot of sense. D just doubles the triangle, but it doesn't make any type of shape, not like C makes a parallelogram. So our answer here is going to be C, a parallelogram, is base times height. So a triangle, two triangles is one half base times height.